Hey, how are you guys doing? Hey, Barmy. Yeah, I'm so, so thanks. I just got new internet, yay, but changing my hardware messed up my workflow, so boo. And that's been fun to deal with, but big number go burr, so what are you gonna do? Anyway, it's not like you to open so unconspiratorily. You're usually like, what if I told you legs are made of jam? and the Alubi booby wants to spread you on their toast. And then we all laugh at your ridiculous nonsense, and then we realize you're not laughing. So we laugh even harder. It's a good time. Well, I had to have a little bit of a break, and I'm feeling better, so I'm back to business. Well, I guess spouting some of the most insane nonsense I have ever heard is hard work. Gotta get in that me time. But I'm just glad to hear that you're feeling better. Does that mean that you're not going to say crazy things? Or is that going to be more like you're about to be way, way worse? Because on the one hand, it would be awesome if you just chilled the hell out a bit sometimes. On the other hand, it is very funny when you say stupid shit. So... And today we are going to have a look at the Great White Sharks. Oh, Great White Sharks, is it? We've actually covered those before on that one guy's channel that everyone gets you confused with. The artist formerly known as Hans Wormhat. Or Brefeskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiskiski
Sure, the TV studio set is a huge dome-shaped building, but it still exists in that universe on a very much round Earth. It has outer space and everything. Seriously, you need to start actually consuming the media you decide to talk about. Otherwise, you're going to start sounding like you have no idea what you're talking about. You wouldn't want that now, would you? By telling him that there are uh, sharks around the ocean, so you can't go there, right? Nope, not even close. I mean, seriously, no sharks and no flat earth in that movie. If anything, it's an allegory for escaping the control of a godlike figure. You could certainly read it as escaping from cults or religion, etc. But yeah, no. Only the most superficial reading of that movie would have you think that it's about the flat earth, and a completely insane one would have you adding extra sharks. So, um, I think this is kind of um, funny because because that's that's what it is. I think just gonna get in before some dumbass says, "See, he am the fake po man." When no, this is what they're all like. They think it's funny that these movies exist because it's like seeing beyond the veil and somehow they are showing us the truth and then the idiot unwoke sheeples think that this is just a story because that's exactly what it is. He's laughing not because he's making a joke. He's laughing because he is the joke. They are trying to stop us to explore and not to go there. Exactly. But no, that's not happening. In fact, do you know how completely ridiculous human beings are? With all the sharks and the poisonous jelly boys and the endless quantities of very difficult to breathe and worthless to drink seawater, people go out into the unknown all the pigging time. If they there are uh, really, really wanted to stop people, they're clearly doing a f***ing awful job of it. I mean, seriously. Oh, there's some things out there that might eat you, but only if you're stupid enough to fall in the damn stuff, get a good boat, and you'll probably be fine. How exactly is that stopping anyone? If you really want people to not go out into the ocean, you would just dip me in it. The sheer concentrated whiskiness of my body would make the water melt all the boats, and the people who didn't disintegrate immediately would be too damn drunk to even get up, let alone explore the vast now golden colored oceans and based on my research i think sharks are totally fake well there it is isn't it first off your research what five minutes of googling sharks are fake right with several question marks and then only reading blog posts that agree with you and never doing anything so crazy and useful as talking to a marine biologist or going to a sea park and having a look at one up close. And I'm sure they could arrange that for you, to be chucked in right with them. And no, I'm not saying haha, shark am doing it. Another reason this whole sharks to scare people away thing is so goddamn dumb is because they literally make cages so that people could get as close as possible. Yeah, good job Illuby Booby, you useless pricks. They are a production of Hollywood and they are CGI. They are Hollywood produced CGI. What are you even on about? Sharks have been around for literally hundreds of millions of years and humans have encountered them for at least nearly three goddamn millennia. And we only know that because of depictions on pottery from the way back when, so they were probably known about for far, far longer. But no, actually, they only existed since Steven Spielberg invented them in 1975 in order to sell t-shirts or some shit. Yeah, that's it. So if you're up for this journey, well, let's investigate. There he is, our little conspiracy boy in his stupid little fake history hat. And you know, if you don't understand or have any knowledge of history, it can all be fake if you want, because you just say, well, I never heard of that and I don't believe it, so it must be something you made up. It's just so easy. I should start my own conspiracy channel. Well, I would, but it's effort and no matter how hard I try, I can never seem to sound dumb enough for you people to believe me. If you have been following my channel, Oh, it's like he knows us. I feel really seen right now. Which is unsurprising, I am very fat. I'm almost as visible as that Truman Show set from space. I like to stare at astronauts on the ISS because it really freaks them out. Why do you think they don't report it? No one will believe you. 
for quite some time. You know about this video, the internet doesn't exist. Oh yes, yes I do. I covered it quite some time ago and woo lad, it was a doozy. You really know how to just come up with the most completely ludicrous conclusions you possibly could, don't you? I mean, seriously, I genuinely don't believe you could be dumber if you were actually trying. The very act of doing things on purpose would make everything far more reasonable. No submarine underwater uh, internet cables. It, this video was quite a hit. Um, it got lots of trolls on it as well. Ah, yes, of course. Trolls. People pointing out how you are wrong and dumb and ignorant. They are always automatically trolling. It couldn't possibly be that they see someone saying insane shit and being on the internet will immediately feel the need to correct them. No one ever does that, do they? You know, it makes you laugh. Because a little known trick, if you ever have a question that no one seems willing to answer, just pretend you have the answer and make something up. Then you will get dozens of people telling you how it actually works. But I got lots of uh, good people, even IT people, saying that, yeah, they, they believe that this is what it is. You got good people and IT people saying that is what it is. I'm assuming you mean they were saying it was fake. And when it comes to the IT people, I believe you. I believe that people in your audience lied to you about being in IT and knowing that the internet is somehow fake. And for those wondering, the internet works because of magic ether waves or something. And the cables are just theater. But no, anyone who works in IT and believes any of the shit you said probably just has some relative in the company and they force the IT guys to babysit them all day because they genuinely don't understand what those guys do. Everything's working smoothly? Pfft, what do we even pay you for? One thing breaks because of user error? What do we even pay you for? Christ, management is the worst. Um, it just doesn't make sense, um, the, the narrative that we are being told. It doesn't make sense that information can be transmitted via a conductive cable of some description. How does that not make sense? And how does that make less sense than there is just some magic sky dust that is what actually makes the internet works and yet somehow there is a difference between my Wi-Fi speed and my Ethernet connected speed and it's not the opposite of anything that makes sense. So anyway, um, on, in this video, um, I had a shark, right? Yes, you had a shark. And then you said the most utterly absurd thing I think I've ever heard anyone say about any animal in the ever and no hands, no Barnabas hat calling all animals that he hasn't personally licked fake is less staggeringly stupid than the thing you said about sharks in that video. So seriously, if you haven't seen it, and you know, can't read titles, depending on what I did put for this video. Perhaps this is in a playlist or some shit. Just be ready. You won't fucking believe this shit when he finally gets to it. So don't say that I didn't pre-warn you, yeah? And that wanted to bite into cable. And, uh, and that, that became kind of like um, a meme for me. Yes, because you didn't seem to understand why, oh, why, oh, why would a shark bite at a cable like that? It must be because they am big fake TM. That they are faking it because that explains internet outages, maybe? But no, it's a real thing. Sharks do bite those kinds of cables because they are extremely sensitive to electricity. So they go to the cable and they test it with the only thing they have available to them, their great big mouths. I imagine after having their curiosity satiated, they then go on their way. And that since we know this happens, the cables are probably designed with that in mind. But yeah, just because the world is weird and animals will react seemingly strangely to human activity doesn't make any of it fake. People um, remember that and, uh, and tell me about the shark as an actor. And there it is. That's what he said. And wow, was it just the silliest shit I have ever heard. At least that I can remember. I've probably deleted far stupider things, but yep, he said it. And it was very, very dumb. Now, obviously, he's going to say, oh, no, you didn't understand. I didn't actually mean that the shark was an actor. I just mean that, you know, the shark is being guided by food or some shit because it's a performing animal of some kind but of course will he fuck? now i want to show you this little clip i also have by the way a great merch 
Um, he actually does. I mean, damn, if I could just turn the stupidest things that I've ever said into making money, I would be a billionaire. Because I say some right stupid things every single day. Unfortunately, it all tends to be drowned out by all the other people out there somehow being way fucking stupider than I am. I just can't compete in such a flooded market of dumbasses. This shark is an actor, um, so if you go to my website... I would rather die, because I did it once, to go content diving for your full-length version of these kinds of videos. But then I realized these testers you do, that are like three minutes, are good enough to get everything absurd you needed to say out in a nice bite-sized format. And you know, that sounds kind of like a compliment, but it isn't. It just shows how stupidly dense the dumbassery can be in such a short amount of time. Then you can uh, go to my merch store and you will see the, the Sharks and Actor t-shirt, hoodies and everything. So, And I will take this opportunity to plug my merch since the company I use for it has finally stopped f***ing me about with payments. And if you don't want that but still want to throw some money at my face, I guess I'll just tell you to go and give me some money for nothing instead. I promise you it will be spent on killing brain cells with whiskey, aka being able to continue making this shit for as long as possible. Thanks, whiskey. You're the best. All right. Um, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. So they are showing us that there is this uh, cable under the ocean. And wow, we're just looping back around, are we? Well, if we're going to do that, why don't you just go watch the original video I did? And that way, I won't have to repeat myself. But damn it, Barn Barn, maybe next time you say something so dumb it gives me pause for thought. Perhaps don't advertise the fact that you're so stupid. And maybe instead, keep it to your f***ing self. God. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six's channel Spoonstar Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, Follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-